Hi there everybody, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is certainly a very interesting time. Um, very positive, very powerful and that's the way that you really need to just go into this time standing in your own circle of power as I said last week. This is not a time to be thinking small. You want to think big, you want to be empowered, do whatever you can and what you know is right for you and sometimes it's a matter of just feeling vulnerable and pushing through okay um, but depending on when you're watching this I mean there's the solar eclipse on the 26th so this Sunday it's a new moon it's in the sign of Pisces so it's happy birthday to Pisces it's like the moon and the sun uh, together and uh, it gives with an eclipse you get that added sort of punch and energy so um it's great i love it and you know there's a lot else going on some of it which i mentioned last week um at the same time as the eclipse we've got uh, uh Mars and Uranus together so there's a spark of energy there also an unpredictability about what's going on Venus is in this area as well um, and Mars is, and Uranus are going to be right opposite Jupiter the planet of abundance and expansion so it's like things can be in the works now behind the scenes so um, and also I mean change is not always easy to take because you know it's unknown and unsettles our life and you know so I want to say to you be prepared to be thrown into a little bit of chaos now and to have your life a little bit messy as my teacher um, John Mark Shaw would say and that's when you know that you're moving into the next dimension of your life the next stage of, the, of your life some of you could even be on that um, you know quantum leap level where things happen like you get to a point and things just happen suddenly so that can certainly happen now um, Venus is going to go retrograde uh, this week as well in the sign of Aries. It's not totally comfortable in Aries, um, but it's right next to Mars, and Mars is the ruler of Aries. And when Venus and Mars are together, then they're a very good balance, particularly with, with love and relationships. So Mars is like the passionate side, and Venus is the romantic side. And, uh, you know, Mars sort of gets things going, and Venus sort of connects you with other people. So, uh, he, so in that sense, I don't mind it so much because you know life has a way of balancing out and things have a way of you know happening as they should and we don't always know it at the time why but you know when we sort of look back um, we can see and that leads us to sort of think well you know perhaps there's a divine plan in the universe um, maybe there is maybe there isn't and um, you know but it, it certainly is opens your mind to wonder doesn't it um, all right so I'm not going to go through every aspect here on uh, this report I'm going to get in now and do your individual reports and let's have a look at what's happening for you personally okay and talking about you personally um, of, of course if you'd like to see how the eclipse is going to be affecting your life for the next say six months um, then uh, you know go on to jenniferangel.com here's the site again and uh, you know you can have a look at the readings there the personal readings I love doing the personal readings it's so satisfying and a lot of great uh, amazing information can come up because I do use like psychic clairvoyance and uh, and of course astrological information to do those sessions and um, I'm really trying to connect with my social network people at the moment and build those subs up so if you're on the site um, please go ahead and connect with the and they're down at the bottom of the page they probably should be at the top of the page but um, if you can connect with my Facebook and Twitter that would be great I'd love that thanks so much
All right. Um, have a great week. Love and luck to you. And we'll see you in a moment on the individual reports. Bye for now.